Huge developments in the growing Hunter Biden scandal, and his father has some major explaining to do. The president-elect's son under federal investigation, and it involves a lot more than just his tax affairs, like Hunter claimed yesterday. Sources telling Fox News the probe started in 2018, and investigators are looking into suspicious money from foreign countries, including China. Pressure now building on Joe Biden to speak out publicly after repeatedly claiming that he and his son Hunter did nothing wrong. No one has indicated of any consequence that anything was done wrong or illegally by me or by my son. My son has not made money in terms of this thing about, uh, what are you talking about? China is a bunch of garbage. Nobody believes it. There's absolutely zero basis to the accusation that I acted any way inappropriately or that my son did. You know there's not one single bit of evidence, not one little tiny bit, to suggest anything done was wrong. <laughs> Dana, I have a feeling we might be playing some of those sound bites for a long period of time going forward. So let me just set this up for you here. If they're investigating Hunter Biden's business deals with China, and Tony Bobolinsky says Joe was in on those business deals with China, might Joe be a little worried about where this investigation could be going? Not from their public comments, but I, can, I can't imagine that internally on the campaign that they are at the transition that they're thinking that this is great news for setting up a new government. Um, <laughs> one of the people for the cabinet that has not been named yet, Jesse, um, is the attorney general. And one of the things Joe Biden oh. promised over and over again in the campaign is that the Justice Department would be under his administration completely independent. OK, so. We have talked before about how Eric Holder considered his position um, to be one of, to protect uh, President Obama. Um, people have said that Attorney General Bill Barr has gone over and beyond to protect Donald Trump. So what kind of independence might this new cabinet member have? Because this is not an investigation that's going to end on January 19th. As Andy McCarthy was explaining today, it was um, covert for a long time because that's where you're trying to interview witnesses but there comes a point when you have to go public with it so now we know that all of these things that we were talking about in october that we were told was um russian disinformation and we were scolded for talking about such russian disinformation now we have a situation where you can look back at all of that and you could play clips all day long but going forward one of the things i'm really paying attention to is who does he choose as that attorney general, as this is going to be under that federal investigation arm. That's an excellent point. And, um, you know, we were told that President Trump was not allowed to interfere in the Justice Department at all. And if there is any hint of Joe Biden using his attorney general to shut anything down, well, then that is just wrong, Gutfeld, isn't it? That is just wrong. It is an outrage, Jesse. I can barely contain myself. You know who's overjoyed right now? Right now, K Kamala Harris is on ha on the Harry and David website, picking out the perfect gift basket for Tony Bobolinsky and maybe, I don't know, a crack pipe for Hunter. But every time I look at Hunter, I'm thinking the only thing laundered about him is his cash. He is a walking hamper of disaster. And I, I realize that the secret to maintaining like a self-destructive lifestyle without consequence is going to law school first. Because when you think about all the rascals, <laughs> the Avenatti's, the Bill Clinton's, the Michael Cohen's, the Ali McBeal's, they all like they all know how to live their lives on the edge without getting arrested, but only last for so long. But now I want to get serious. The worst part about this whole scandal is the uh, the fifty the fifty senior intel officer signed letter? Do you remember that when the former senior oh, yeah. intelligence officer signed a letter mm -hmm. pre-election, uh, claiming that this story on Hunter Biden quote had all the classic earmarks as as uh, Dana said of a Russian information operation. So I think the real question is, 
Who got them to create that document? Who got those 50 people together and then got them linked up with the media? And why was it done at this specific moment? Obviously, to affect an election. So this is a really huge story. You're talking basically influencing election. You had 50 senior intel officers, all this effort to help him out. Clearly, it was orchestrated. And I think that this is something that, you know, if this had happened on the other side, oh, my God. You'd have, like, Woodward and Bernstein running down the, you know, Pennsylvania Avenue in their underwear screaming worse than Watergate. <laughs> no, Greg, I can't get that out of my head now. That's not what I was thinking about. It's um, very sexy. Geraldo, I want to go to you on the diamond situation. You brought this up yesterday. You have experience in giving people diamonds. When you give someone a diamond. I do. I consider one. Usually, yes. that, usually that's kind of a romantic gesture. Um, but you have a Chinese communist guy giving Hunter Biden, another guy, a, a, a three-carat diamond. Uh, try, explain that to me. It's a great way to give value, to give, you know, essentially cash without giving the dirty money. So you give them a rock that's worth a bunch of money. You put the rock in your pocket. No one says anything about it. So you've just received a gigantic yep. uh, income without having to declare it. And I think that those are the kinds of things that are at the heart of his tax evasion uh, probe. But as is apparent, this is much bigger than just Hunter's taxes. This is the, the implication here with this grand jury since 2018 is that here, in the words of the Senate, there exists a vast web of transactions between and among the Biden family and Chinese nationals. This is a huge story. And let me say also, as the father of five, if I were to fly, if I had a plane, I was going to fly to my, with my kid to China and I'm the vice president of the United States and my kid is with me, what's my adult kid doing there? I mean, obviously, he's not going to just tag along with my official functions. Wouldn't the dad say to the son, hey, son, how's that business going? Or, hey, son, what are you going to do when I'm at the Great Wall or when I'm in the, uh, <laughs> yeah. in the, uh, uh, the, the hidden palace? Uh, <laughs> what, you know, of course, when Biden says, I never, ever spoke about my son's business dealings in Ukraine or China, <laughs> you know, as much as uh, he seems such a decent fellow, it kind of does not jive with our, our normal experiences. Jesse. Mm. Yeah, and um, just common sense, Emily, Geraldo just brought this up, the millions and millions in transactions between the Chinese and the extended Biden family. This was not a political prosecution. This originally was flagged by Hunter's banks. They noticed suspicious activity from all these international wires, and they were the ones that raised the red flags. Not any politician, not any senator. It was a, a bank. That's exactly right. And not only for the amount of those transactions, as in the uh, like the quantity of them, but also the quantity of the money and the timing, which was so fascinating. The same day he opens a line of credit, he charges a hundred grand. I do have to say that, that just overall, <laughs> that the breadth of these multiple investigations that span states and jurisdictions and issues and family members, it cannot be overstated, nor obviously can it be reduced to, quote, tax affairs. And we know that the Bidens have this history of oversimplifying whenever their behavior or their conduct is questioned, and this is no exception. Now, I think also it's important to point out my, my second point was Dana's, which is that it's crucial for optics and otherwise who Biden selects as his attorney general. And last quick point that the media loves a Democrat, we know this, but they love a scandal too. And as it is revealed more, the findings, the subpoenas, and everything in between about this, and we learn what Joe Biden's knowledge really was, this could be a really effective spear for the GOP in the midterms in 2022. All right, well, and going forward, I want all of my earnings to be paid in diamonds. It seems like <laughs> sure. the sense under the pillow. Got it. Under the pillow.